we're back after I don't know how long, very, very long time. Um, and I am getting ready. I think the last video I posted was about the um, no heat curler, curling situation. Um, I'm still working on that. Um, it just, it's a, it's a big learning curve. Like it's, it's a lot of just trial and error. And sometimes I just don't want to go through the trial and error. Like today, well, today I also had to, um, wash my hair because it was absolutely disgusting. Um, and Aaron and I are going to go over to a friend's house for a post Christmas pre New Year's get together. So I'm about halfway getting ready and I'm using my curling iron slash flat iron to curl my hair today. Um, I was thinking about doing the, um, the no heat curlers, but you actually, you have to let that go during the night. You have to sleep on it. One, I didn't wash my hair last night. I just washed it today. And two, I had a lot of things to get done. Man, I can't get the right angle on this one. I had a lot of things to get done today, um, early in the day. So um, it wouldn't have worked. One, because I wasn't gonna, ow, oh, that's hot. I wasn't gonna walk around um, Walmart and other places with, um, does anybody else have a spot on their hair that will not curl? Like, I have so many places of my hair that just will not curl. Um, anyway, uh, I had to run to a Walmart, get uh, some gift cards for the party. And then also um, we need a new flag, an American flag in front of our house. The one we have um, hanging up right now is just so war-torn and tattered and it looks really, really bad. And I kind of feel like a little disrespectful <laughs> to, to keep it up there. So we went ahead and got another one. And did you guys know it's actually really cool? By the way, this is just a ramble, get ready with me. Um, Cause it's been a minute since I've been on here. Um, did you know you can dispose of the flag yourself and there's actually a really like particular way you're supposed to do it? Um, you're supposed to, so I actually Googled it. <laughs> you're supposed to fold it in a triangle. You know, I think it's like the triangle they fold it in when they're presenting it to like a, you know, a loved one of a fallen soldier or if they're retiring it and they put it in one of those boxes, um, you're supposed to fold it as best you can. Um, and then you can, and then you're supposed to burn it. So I don't know, Aaron and I might, we might do that with the boys just so they have like that experience. I think that would be like, kind of a cool thing to do, or you're supposed to take it like to your closest American Legion, or like, I think for us it would probably be like the Lions Club or something like that, but I don't know. I think we might, um, we might do it ourselves. Like, I think as long as we try and we fold it, that's, these are gonna have to be curled again. We'll let it sit for a minute. I think as long as we try our best to fold it as respectful as possible. And then, and then also there were a lot of articles saying it's not, which way did I curl it? It's not disrespectful to hang a flag that's torn, um, torn up like ours is. It's not, it's not actually disrespectful like to the flag by any stretch of the imagination. However, um, veterans or even like active military individuals could um, look at it and you know kind of find it a little bit especially the veterans um, find it a little bit disrespectful for like their service and stuff so I bought it today and I think Aaron said he's gonna take the rest of the week off um, so we can maybe do like our own little ceremony on taking our flag down retiring our old one and putting our new one up 
I just think that would be really cool because we we raise our boys to you know honor honor that symbol, show respect to that symbol of our country and those who fought and died and who are still currently fighting and dying for our country. So I just think that would be kind of cool. Um, so I'm using, like I said, I'm using my curling yarn. I actually really, really like this one. I have one of those wands that you just wrap it. You don't, you don't like curl it the way I do. You just wrap the hair around it and you let it sit. And I was thinking of using that one, but over the Christmas holiday and like getting ready for it. Actually, it was the day before, it was on Christmas Eve. I was, no, two nights before. I was lighting a fire, Aaron and I had a fire and we were watching a show and I put um, a log on the fire and I burned the crap out of my thumb, like right, right here. And then on Christmas day, I did something and I pinched my finger and I got a blood blister right there. So, <coughs> excuse me, my hands have really taken a beating, particularly my right hand um, has taken a beating the last couple of days. And I did not want to go into this get together. And then also we're having some friends over for New Year's Eve. Um, I didn't want to go into that party with my hand hurting because it is not fun at all. It is not fun. Um, so I have my makeup pretty much done. I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter on. I thought I was gonna do eyeshadow, but I'm kind of digging just the natural look I have going on here. Um, I, I think I will put some highlighter on my cheekbones just to kind of like brighten up the old lady cheeks. Um, but I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm really kind of, like I said, I'm digging the natural. Maybe put a little bit of something just on the top, like the lids up here to kind of brighten it up a little bit. But I really don't think I'm gonna go all out with it. I might put some like nude colored chapstick on. Um, and also my number one priority is to get these bad boys put on before the party. I took my nails off earlier today because they needed it. They'd actually been on since a couple days after I got back from my deer hunt, which was two weeks ago, three, three weeks ago already. It was three weeks ago. Um, I've also been on a nail journey. Another reason I like this is because you can kind of do like a pre-curl to straighten it and then you do the curl curl. Now watch this one here. These two that curl my face, I have the most difficult time getting them to look good. Ooh, that one was good. Let's see if the other one will be the same on this side. It's this one right here. Um, so I've been on a nail journey and I actually have found, I've gotten decently good at putting on acrylic, like the powder, and then you use the liquid to put it on your nails. I have some nail tips that I've glued onto my fingers to make them longer. Cause as you can see there, there's nada, nothing there. So you can't put acrylic on that or else it would just get all over your skin and cause major problems. Um, so I've actually gotten pretty good at that. The only thing is even though, even still, um, not going to the salon, it just, destroys your nails, just absolutely destroys them. And I don't like that. So not like dropping from the acrylic, I still bought some really pretty powders and stuff. There, there will be times where I'll use it, you know, maybe during baseball season, I'll, I'll do some acrylic because that stuff stays forever. And also um, it is really difficult to get off. It takes a really, really long time to take it off. I think on this thumb, sorry, I'm not looking at you guys much, but it's because I'm watching my hair. On my left thumb, I'm pretty sure I still have a very thin layer of acrylic on my thumb. 
and I haven't had acrylic on my nails for at least over a month. So that's another issue. But these press-on nails are actually pretty legit. I had a pair on a set on during my hunt because I had taken the acrylics off. And like I said, my nails were just completely ravaged and I couldn't, it, it would have hurt so bad. Something bad would have happened if I had gone on my hunt. Um, even though you wear gloves and stuff, um, something, it, I was just afraid it was gonna, see some of these just, they don't curl well, but we'll see, I might have to do some of them again. Um, because my hair is really, really heavy, so I like to curl it pretty tight, like this stuff, and then kind of run my fingers through it, and then it gets that like beachy wave. So anyway, I digress. Here's the big test. Let's see. This is the one that always causes me headache. Let's see if you guys are my good luck. But anyway, so I put those nails on and they lasted all the way through my hunt. <gasps> it did it! Yay! They lasted all the way through my hunt. Nothing popped off. And I'm talking, I mean, we like, it was cold, so I had gloves on every day. And sometimes I had to take them off and put them back on because if the weather would get warmer, I would take them off. And then like loading and unloading the clip on my, like the magazine on my rifle and stuff. Like just use your hands a lot. And they did not pop off. So, and I got them at Walmart. So I was very, very pleased with that situation. Um, so I got me another, another color, another set that I used for Christmas. They were really pretty. It was like a maroon, maroon, and then like a gold, like with a golden accent, like a gold glitter accent now. They are really pretty. So this one, I had three different kinds. And I actually posted a, um, a poll on you on the, my Instagram page to see what people thought I should wear. And I'll show you the colors of what I have. Um, and I think the majority, which isn't many because I don't have many followers, but it's okay. It's fun to engage with friends and family and see what they do. Cause that's what I like. I like that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, that's, I can, we're going to go this way. You gotta get the wrist angle right to curl your hair, especially if you have longer hair, which I'm also trying to grow out. I've started a new regimen of collagen that I think I'm gonna enjoy. So let's see how this turns out, but I'll show you the three colors. I think that's probably just gonna have to do, maybe I'll split these in half to see if doing them in a smaller one. Cause like I said, thick hair, heavy hair, curls don't last, but see if making it shorter, but keeping the makeup more simple. Ooh, yep, there we go. Um, keeping the makeup more simple leaves me time for like the other priority, which is covering my nails up. <laughs> I've always had, I think I've, I've posted it some other, ow, some other um, videos. I, my nails have always been just, I've been so self-conscious about my nails and it makes me feel like I'm mean girls. Like, eh, my nail beds suck. <laughs> but I just don't have good, strong, <coughs> excuse me. I don't have good, strong nails. This is, a, this is how it's going to be. So we're just going to let it, we're going to let it sit for a little bit and then we'll, run our fingers through it. So let me, uh, let me pick you up here and get into my nail box. So I have, oops, I'm doing this with one hand. I don't have any fancy, like, you know, vlogging stuff. So this is my box that I keep all of my stuff in and I'm gonna get the best nail glue if I can find it. Oh, there it is. So this, this is the best nail glue to use. And I even use it on the nails that have, um, let's go ahead and put some highlighter on real quick. Sometimes I even do a little bit of contour, but kind of like around my head and stuff here, but I'm not even gonna do that tonight. Like I said, keeping it simple. Oh, a little bit, a little 
little bit here just to kind of brighten things up a little bit. And then we'll put the nails on and then we'll get dressed. I will obviously do that off camera. Um, and I've been trying to find, so I got a, since I was last on, I actually got an iPhone, which is a huge adjustment for Aaron and I, because we were sensitive people for a very long time, but we needed an iPhone for baseball reasons. Like he's a hitting coach. And so he does, um, he does hitting lessons and he uses a new, he uses a program that is easier to use on an iPad than it is on an Android. Oh no, I hate it when I do that. An Android system program, but let's, it said these were short, but man, they look long. And I am just one I don't like. So this is, I have hair off to the side here. Oh, this doesn't have the glue on it, so that's good. But I always forget which way. Um, it says seven day wear, I think, yeah. The curvy part goes down at the bottom. So that's this. This is definitely the thumb. Oh, well, those are those are pretty short. They'll work for tonight. Um, and then I'm probably no, that's too big. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to uh, trim them down after tonight. I just cannot have long nails it, it doesn't work my life is too that work my life is too crazy too busy to have long long nails um i just i'm i'm way too way 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 too busy um i'm living on the ranch we're just we're constantly i'm doing things with my hands so it uh the long ones like I said, I've repeated myself about five times. Just don't work. And I also don't um, multitask well. And being that I am not on a screen a lot. Is that the same number as this one? Four, five. Where's the other four? Um, I'm not good at doing this, like talking while doing things at the same at the same time. Ooh, that one fits pretty good. What's this one? Eight, five. I don't know. And then there's all these different numbers. And it's like, um, I just kind of do what works. What works best. I think that'll work better. Okay. And but it is nice to like work with the same numbers, six. Okay, six is here. Six, what number is this? Eight, let's see, do I have eight? Eight, eight, eight. Can I get an eight? Anybody, anybody? That's a seven. Where's an eight? Five. This has gotta be an eight. Six. Eight. Six. Will a six fit on both of these? Uh, that one is pretty good, but let me see. Uh, I think the eight is better. Okay, I gotta find an eight. But like I was saying, there are some people that are just like so um, cool on the screen and are so good at sharing all of their stuff and being funny and being... Um, you know, entertaining. Eight! I found one! Entertaining. And I don't know. Like I said, I I get I get a little not sure what I want to do with this channel. But you know, sometimes I just then I decide like just do what I enjoy seeing on other people's channels. And that's sometimes just rambling and like watching you know what they're what they're doing with their lives and getting ready for things and chit-chatting and 
all of that stuff. So that's that's what we're gonna do. And I always, always, always get glue on the side of my fingers, always. And the thumbs, I have the hardest time. I can't find anything wide enough for my thumbs. I just, I can't. See, I already have glue. And yeah, that's, that's, that's long, but I have, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to have time. So like I said, I'm going to have to deal with long nails tonight, but it's just a party that we're hanging out with some good friends. So, and then tomorrow I can cut them down, but I bought one of those actual, see, but then there's this one that's short enough. Um, I bought one of those, like the actual nail trimmers from again, Walmart, and I got glue on my finger, from Walmart, and um, it worked pretty good. So I'll just do a little bit of trimming. Maybe once they're on, I'll file them down, because sometimes they have the little, like, little ridge up there from, like, I'm sure it's the manufacturer where they pop them off after they're created. You gotta get the edges. I'm learning, you gotta really push down on the edges to where, there's no air pockets in there. Those are pretty. Those are really pretty. And I like the ones that don't have the glue on the back because like I said, I, and even if they do, even if I get some, the two I did use had the glue on the back. I still use this glue here um, because that other glue just, it doesn't, it doesn't cut the bill, pay the bill, cut the whatever. It doesn't work. And so I use, um, I use extra glue too, but then when I trim the nail, if you trim too low, it gets into the glue. So then it makes a really big mess underneath and like dirt starts to like stick to it and stuff like that it starts to, to make a mess. Um, but sometimes if it's the only one I can, if it's, you know, has the length, and it, like I said, got to be short. So if it's the only color that I like that's short, then I'll go for it. And I just deal with it. Oh, see, didn't get enough on the finger there. I'll put some on the glue. I probably should have dehydrated my nails first, but like I said, some of these nails still have some acrylic residue on them. So dehydrating it wouldn't even really work. And my nails like this, I just, it won't cover. I don't have, I can't find thumbnails that are wide enough to cover my whole nail bed. So I've just learned to deal with it. Just don't look at it super close. You know what? I'm going to do two at a time here. See if that'll work. But I do like the convenience of putting these things on and you don't, I can't, I can't do hardly anything with my left hand at all. Like it's, it's just my left hand. It's like totally right hand, completely right hand dominant. Like everything I do, right hand dominant. Like that one, that's a super, super short nail. But I like it. That's how I wish all of them could be, just right across the tip of your finger. Like barely, that's not going to work. Like barely scratching the surface of your nails. But I think these will actually be pretty easy to file down or to trim with the trimmer. I think they'll be pretty easy. Um, yeah, so... Convenience is the key. And I've actually gotten a lot of compliments on the last two times that I had my press-ons. I got a lot of compliments. They're like, is that like that? Are those your real nails? And is that like that, those strips that you use? It's like, nope, they are Walmart press-on nails. Thank you very much. So convenience is the key and find something that works for you and go for it. I was getting my nails done, like I've said in some videos before, 
going to the salon and getting some nail getting my nails done and I loved the way they looked I however did not love the price and did not love the time it was taking away from a very like I've stated busy life busy schedule it was causing like arguments there we go I think it's pretty enough for the party and then I'll um I'll file them down after but it was it was causing like arguments and stuff between Aaron and I so it's like you know what not worth it not worth it so we're gonna do gonna do the brush through and depending on what time it is you might be seeing this the day of the party you might be seeing it the day after because I haven't been able I'm not wearing my watch right now oh, yes turned out great and that's what I'm hoping to get from the heatless curls. I will get there. But that's what I like. Okay. Nails are done. I'm gonna put some jewelry on. Gotta get out of Aaron's shirt. Have to get changed. What time is it? Let me see. They're probably gonna be running too late. Mm -hmm. I gotta leave in 15 minutes. Bye.